as African as we are, we are incapable of producing anything. I'm speaking from Ghana right now, and, and from my experience and from whatever I've seen so far, we are not supportive at all. We don't support our own, especially look at, looking at Kantanka Automobile, who is trying to come up with cars and stuff. Ghanaians are always laughing at him. Like, basically, we don't produce anything. And, and the little creative people we have on our continent, too, we try to undermine them and um, destroy their hopes. You see, Africa is really blessed. We have gold, um, rain like cocoa. It rains almost, almost every day here in Africa. And what are we able to do? We have a lot of farmers here, all right. But then whatever they produce, we consume here. We are not able to export like... By now, we should be exporting over 60% of whatever we, we produce here in Africa. And Ghana here, for example, is crap. It's crap. <laughs> Ghana, we are funny. Just listen to the news and you are going to hear the MPs, the Member of Parliament, discussing about their ex their this, this, their whatever. Everything in Africa is about money. Everything in Africa is about money. For once, let's try and be creative, come up with stuff. Let's be support. Let's be supportive. Let's love one another. Okay, Africa. <laughs> Imagine a human being that God has created you. There's a no parking sign. That means you don't park your car here. As African as we are, and as stupid as we are, I, I'm not going to say some people we. We are, we are all stupid, stupid people. You will see a no parking sign and then the driver, that's where the driver wants to park at. He will definitely park there and until he sees a policeman coming, he's not, he's not going to change his mind. Okay? And even when the driver sees the policeman, he's going to bribe the policeman. And the policeman, as wise as he is, he's going to take the bribe too. And that's why our continent is corrupt. That's why our, our continent is not growing. That's why our continent is not going anywhere. We are not moving forward. And as this lady said in her post on social media, we are not a threat. Okay, we are not a threat to them. We are not a threat to the United Kingdom, not a threat to United States of America, not a threat to Japan, not a threat to China. We are crap. We are crap. I remember um, not long ago, about a year ago, North Koreans were able to manufacture a nuclear weapon. And they, according to them, it was tested and proven that they could actually launch it from North Korea to United States of America. And then, then, there and then, the superpower of the world, United States of America, a whole of Donald Trump took his plane, went to North Korea to have a meeting with their president <laughs> in Africa here we are here just fooling just messing around and then the little that we have to we are not doing anything with it even common toothpaste common plastic common things that by now we should be able to produce here we are not able to and to think of the fact that we are um, Ghana is one of the major cocoa producing countries on the continent of Africa by now we should be able to produce our like con convert the product a cocoa into an end product that is something like milo um chocolates or so ever but then at this age Ghana is like what 60 something years old we are still messing around we are still fooling our leaders are not doing anything they are not doing anything and what we know is all and, and like <laughs> the painful thing is eh, all we know in Ghana here for instance is no Mahama, no peace, no Akufado, no peace, no Mahama, no peace, no offer. Or three sonny wa pampas with Jimmy Jimmy Nasa Yakumama. By now we should be learning sense. I like the the fact that this white woman actually sat down to insult the continent of Africa on social media. At least it's going to put some sense in a few people. I believe my video here is not going to change a lot of hearts in Africa but then if you are sensible you will change your character you are not going to litter around and even the Bible tells us to be clean 
and it says cleanliness is next to godliness if you are godly as you claim to be we are not going to litter around we are not going to park where we are not supposed to park we are not going to be corrupt because all these things destroy our environment and if you are not corrupt obviously your mind is going to tell you to inspire other people to inspire the creative people on this continent to be able to come up with good stuff for us but as stupid as we are we are not able to do anything and i guess my video is not going to make any difference but if it does kindly make a comment in the comment section below write something let's let's change the narrative of africa because we are very stupid oh sometimes i just wish i was from another continent or whatever because being an african and being in ghana here for instance jesus I don't know. I don't know. It's crap. I'm gravity cool and this eyes on GH. I know by now you're angry at me, but bro, that's a fact. This woman spoke the truth. Forget about the fact that she's a wise woman. She spoke the truth. Let's not think this vaccine is 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 like something that the Europeans are trying to use to terminate the like to kill the people on this continent. Because at the in the first place, we are not making any change in the world we are not contributing anything bullshit we are both we are crap we are not doing anything all we know is to destroy stuff and the little that these people are trying to do to help us to we are here blaming them if they as the woman said if they wanted to kill us they would have used coca-cola kfc or so ever even the common toothpaste that we all use colgate and um, colgate what pestilence and all the unilever the whole unilever it's not it's not it's not for a Ghanaian. Let's be wise. Let's let's wise up. If you are from Nigeria, Togo, Burkina, Ghana, Benin, wherever, South Africa, let's be wise. Let's wisen up. Let's wisen up. Because we are not a threat. We need to start being a threat to them so that they will start respecting us. Let's all forget about this bullshit about racism and all those things. Forget about the fact that you are a black man. And just just accept the fact that you are black because if you are not black then that means there is no white they are fair they are fairer than us they are fair they have a fair skin so obviously we are black dark is similar to black dark is black dark is a new black we are black people we are black let's embrace that as africans and let's fight for our rights like let's produce stuff let's in, be innovative let's be creative let's support ourselves let's stop the bribery and corruption let's stop this bullshit about no mahama no peace no Abufa, no no peace let's stop burning ties and be wise let's all be sensible let's try to be reasonable for once let's stop corruption let's stop littering around let's stop these fake prophets making fake prophecies around you i, I believe you can't go to america and mount a speaker in the streets illegally and start preaching the gospel like that the preaching the gospel is is is, is not wrong though, but the time and everything the location and everything is absolutely wrong in africa we are always doing the wrong thing you will pass by the roadside in the evening and then someone will mount a sound system like in the middle of the road or the pavement where people are supposed to walk past and be taking off a tree like preaching is that the time to preach let's all wisen up as africans let's prove to the whole world that we are better than what they perceive us to be let's stop the stupidity and the bullshit let's stop being crap and start making an impact on this world whatever happens in africa whether we develop or we don't well i've said what i have to say we move